For BWYellowJackets.com, I'm Brendan Gulick with head men's golf coach Wayne Schneider. We're just about ready to get outside, or so we think, depending on the day. It feels like we're closer to spring than, than winter, but uh, weather is fickle here in Northeast Ohio. But nonetheless, a chance to preview the, uh, the spring golf season. Let's start with the weather. It's, it's frustrating at times. You have opportunities to get outside maybe for a day or two. The ground is saturated to say the least and, and so sometimes it forces you with cold weather to come back inside. What is the preparation process like for guys knowing that it's such a coin flip day to day? It's difficult. If we had weather like yesterday, it would have been a lot better. But we do as in the uh, spring, getting ready for the spring because we had such a great fall winning four out of six tournaments, hopefully going to carry over to spring. What we'll do is we'll start with, at the end of uh, February, we'll work inside, hitting into the nets, and then uh, hopefully get to the driving range because we go to Stonebrook and they have heated stalls, they have pro tracers, so it gives us a chance to get ready for our spring break trip, which is March 2nd through 9th. We'll be playing in a, a Pfeiffer International uh, University tournament down there. There'll be eight to ten teams and that'll get us ready for our spring season up here in Ohio, which starts as soon as we come back at the end of March. That's terrific. And, and to have a partner like Stonebrook literally a mile or two up the street, it, it, I would think it's a, a big plus for uh, guys that are here at, at Baldwin-Wallace. You mentioned the fall. I, I have to think this is one of the more successful falls that the golf programs had in recent memory, and not just in winning tournaments, but in in seeing guys take significant steps forward, what most impressed you about that fall season? I think their commitment to working on their game. They really wanted to get better, and they believe that they can get better, and it, it proved on the course. But we had uh, six guys who averaged under 80 strokes per round, and uh, we had some uh, Ohio Athletic Conference Players of the Week, like. Uh, Hunter Miller, who's a senior, and Ronnie Shin, and then uh, Jimmy Clark also played very well, and Ben Ladeka was Ohio Athletic Conference Player of the Week one week. So we've got a core nucleus of five or six players who are playing really top-level golf right now, and they're eager to get started for spring because uh, they want a challenge for that Ohio Athletic Conference Championship. Well, Coach, Ronnie Shin had a great fall for you, obviously, in his first year at, at BW and uh, was your number one player. I, I'm interested what you think he can bring to this program in his first season. Having an outstanding freshman season, you know, sky's the limit for his game because he's really committed and dedicated, and he led the team with a 73 average, which is outstanding. He's probably one of the better averages in the conference. So we're looking forward to great leadership and great things in the future for him and the rest of the Yellow Jackets. How about the strength of his game? Where was he best that he was able to post scores like that? He uh, is incredible off the tee. He hits the ball further than anybody that I've seen in the conference this year. So that is a good way to start. If you're closer to the green after your <laughs> tee shot, it makes the follow-up a little bit easier. But he's a, a fine young man, works real hard, and he's a great addition to our team. Sure. Well, there's no doubt that most years that conference championship, you got to find a way to get through Otterbein. They've yes. been very good. And yet it kind of feels like this year you might have the horses to do it. Let's start with Jimmy Clark. Um, and you can think back all the way to his freshman year, and you kind of realize this kid's got a chance to be really special, and he continues to get really good each and, uh, each and every year. He is. He's, he's one of our top players. He's got a good attitude, good work ethic, and uh, he wants to get better. He spends the summer up in Michigan at a youth golf camp working and so he's working on his game all the time and uh, he's one of our special players and uh, he's in our top five. How about Hunter Miller? You, you mentioned him as a senior. Leadership on a team is important especially at this time of year when you, you want to get off on the right note before you start thinking about OAC championship type aspirations. Um, what do you think about Hunter in particular, his leadership? It's been a whole four years he's been here. He's been a leader. He's a very level-headed, very mature young man. He's uh, planning on going into the golf career after he's finished here. He's planning on going to Myrtle Beach and going to that golf academy down there and, and working himself into the golf industry. But fine young man, we're going to hate to lose him. He's a quality player and a quality individual. Uh, and I think you can 
probably say that about a lot of the guys on this team because um, one of the things I most enjoy about covering your team is, is the number of just good guys you have around. How much is that a hallmark of your recruiting process? Uh, the main thing I look forward to is, uh, first of all, being a good athlete and a good academic person, but also a good person as far as their, their background, their uh, uh, value system, and uh, it all ends up in a, a good uh, team cohesiveness because they, uh, they all get along well. They hang out together even after golf practice or after the golf season. They're uh, really a good group of guys to be around. Fine young men, good individuals. Golfers tend to stick together, no doubt about that. You mentioned the, uh, the spring break trip. Obviously the season will conclude at least uh, the regular season with the OAC championships. Uh, I believe it's the first weekend in May. How about tournaments in between there? Are there courses or tournaments in particular that you're really looking forward to playing? Yes, we look forward to going back to Worcester and playing Worcester Country Club. We were there in the fall. We won the Worcester tournament down there. It's always a good field. It's uh, some schools that we don't see normally during the year. So between the Pfeiffer Invitational and Worcester, we're seeing teams outside the Ohio Athletic Conference. So it kind of gives them a gauge as to what type of competition they're going against and how good their program is and how good their golf game is. Do you have any kind of pulse on how often, if at all, your players are monitoring other guys on other teams in a conference, even if you're not playing? Let's say you know, you, you've got a match in Mount Union or John Carroll or Ottermine's not even competing against you that week. Do your guys keep an eye on how players from those other teams are doing to try to figure out where the barometer is? They do. And they'll actually go on to, because you can go into Golf Stat, and uh, Golf Stat right now has us ranked the highest in our conference. And uh, we'll see how that plays out with the OAC championship. But right now, they're having a very good year. But the guys do keep uh, an eye on how other teams are doing and how the guys they know from previous years are doing and, and how their game compares with uh, the other teams. Oh, can't wait to see how the golf season goes. And we are very much looking forward to warmer weather. <laughs> we are, and it uh, won't be long, hopefully. Yeah, no doubt about that. Best of luck this year. We'll check in with you along the way. Thank you. Right, I appreciate men's, it. Men's golf season just around the corner here in Berea. Follow everything you need to know at bwyellowjackets.com.